What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Eyes here, Leads for Locals. Got a really, really important video for you today if you're using Go High Level and Mailgun to send your emails. Oh man, it's been a journey uh, trying to get the deliverability down. Uh, you guys are, have, are, have probably experienced the same thing I, I have with Mailgun. Lots of emails going to spam. And uh, I have to give a shout out to Gareth from inside of the, uh, he's a member of the Go High Level Facebook group, uh, who I originally learned this from. He had a video posted showing exactly what I'm going to show you. Uh, right now, and it made a huge difference in my email deliverability score. Very, very significant improvement. And uh, I had no idea that this needed to be done. That's what's a, a little frustrating is, you know, a lot of people are just showing you how to connect Mailgun. And, you know, I, I have a video showing you guys how I set up Mailgun, right? And I'll have that in the description. You definitely want to check that out as well. But I had no idea that this uh, even needed to be done. It's I just assumed that it was. Uh, because I never had these issues when, you know, I was using like uh, active campaign. I used them for a long time and emails would just get delivered, you know, and uh, they'd reach the inbox. That's that's great. But a lot of uh, a lot of my SaaS clients having issues with uh, emails going to spam. And this made a huge difference. It's basically adding a DMARC TXT record to your domain inside of GoDaddy or um, um, what is it? Uh, Namecheap, wherever, wherever you have your, your domain and um, uh, you can't use connect it. There's two records that you create and you connect it to your email address. I'll, I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. It's actually very easy. I have no idea what this stuff actually is. I just know that it needs to be done. It makes a huge difference in your email deliverability. So make sure you stick to the end, get this set up immediately for both yourself and your clients. If you have SaaS clients, I literally just got done uh, going through every single one of my SaaS clients and setting this up for them. Um, so that hopefully we're getting more and more emails into the inbox, all right? I only ask, as usual, if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Have some really, really good stuff for you guys there. And if you don't have Go High Level, please go through my affiliate link in the description. It really does help support the channel. Uh, you guys are awesome. All right, let's rock and roll. The first thing I want to do is show you the results so far. And uh, this was sent from a client of mine, uh, a SaaS client, um, where we were testing this out. And I saw my email deliverability just like jump. Uh, it was uh, for this particular client, because uh, he's a little bit newer. Uh, I think we were at like 80. And as soon as I got this fixed, it immediately jumped 10 points. And, um, you know, so it, may, it makes a huge difference. Uh, this tool is called Warmbox. One of, the, uh, one of the features is being able to test your email deliverability, you know, spam and stuff like that. And, uh, but also Warmbox is fantastic for warming up and just uh, building and maintaining the reputation of your email address because it mimics, uh, uh, so it's it, it's software, but it mimics human behavior, like uh, replying to your emails, click uh, opening them, clicking on links, saving as contacts, marking as not spam. And these are trust signals that build up over time with Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, et cetera. And uh, it's super cheap. So you can learn more about that in the description. It is an awesome tool. And uh, I show you how to use it. Uh, and it's pretty easy to set up. but. Uh, one of the big things here, so if we scroll down, um, I still have to work on this. Uh, this uh, spam assassin check is really, really bad score. And I think that's because I haven't had this set up, this DMARC uh, TXT record this entire time because I just, I didn't even know it, 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 it existed, that it needed to be done. And so uh, th this is the next thing I'm going to work on is just kind of cleaning this up as much as I can. But this right here, the DKI, DKIM and DMARC check, we were originally failing and it was bad. Uh, it wasn't just a warning like like this. Th these aren't as serious, you know, uh, not as much of a priority as something like this that's bad. Both of these were bad and had a very, uh, apparently it has a very significant impact on your email del uh, deliverability because it's a, it's a dig digital signature that certifies the authenticity of your emails. It avoids spoofing. And like, I just, I don't even know what all this stuff it, uh, means. I just know that it's important. So, um, that's how we were tracking it, it, and it made such a huge difference. So let me show you how to set this up, guys. It's actually really easy. I'm going to have the the data that you need to copy and paste into your TXT records. I'll have that in the description. Just copy and paste it. Uh, adjust it for your email address, of course. But you're going to go into uh, where your domain is, manage DNS, go to your DNS records. All right. And uh, so mine is businessfundingspecialistgroup.com. That's the domain we use for the business email addresses that I set up for my SaaS, uh, my SaaS clients. So we're going to need two TXT records here. Right. Um, and I suppose, you know, it's a, um, I'll have to look into this, but if you're just doing this for yourself, 
Um, I, I would still set both of these up um, unless you're if, if you're not using a subdomain for your email address, then you probably only need the first one I'm going to show you. But I would go ahead and create both just to be safe. Uh, reach out to your provider like GoDaddy, Namecheap or whatever, just confirm this. But um, what we need to do is add a record. It's going to be a, a TXT record. And the first one that you're going to do is uh, in the name part, in the name field, it's going to be underscore DMARC, D-M-A-R-C. And then the value is going to be V equals DMARC in all caps, one, the number one, uh, semicolon P equals reject. And then TTL, I always do at one hour. I have no idea what this is, guys. Don't even bother asking me. Could not explain it to you. I just know that it, it needs to be done. You're going to click add record. And uh, the second one that you're going to do, so again, two TXT records, is uh, you're going to do the same exact thing, except you're going to, uh, in the name, you're going to do dot whatever your subdomain email is, like uh, maybe replies. Like maybe you have replies.yourdomain.com. Uh, if you're doing this for your SaaS clients, like this, like these are these are for my SaaS clients right here. I create a subdomain email address for them, uh, so they have their own email, and um, I, so I created a DMARC record attached to that subdomain that I originally created for them. Okay, so it'd be D, uh, underscore DMARC dot subdomain, and then the value stays the same. V equals DMARC one. Blah 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 blah. Okay. And, you know, give that, uh, give that half an hour, uh, you know, every, every provider is a little bit different. GoDaddy's pretty quick with these and yeah, that's it guys. <laughs> it made, it, it just makes such a huge difference. So obviously a, a little bit more that I have to do to, uh, to finally clean this up. And I'm hoping that this is going to get a lot more emails into the inbox. So again, shout out to Gareth inside of the uh, go high level Facebook group. Really, really appreciate this man. Cause I, I, you know, these are the types of things that I just assume are already done. Didn't know that we needed to do this and it makes a big difference. So I hope that helps guys. If you have questions, leave a comment down below, give me your feedback. Let me know what you think about this. And please also, if you have other tips or other things that you've done, um, uh, to improve, uh, to improve your deliverability, uh, your email deliverability using Mailgun and go high level, please share that in the comments as well. I'm always looking to, to make things better. So, uh, appreciate your time, guys. Hope you're crushing it, and I'll talk to you in the next one.